Hello everyone, Josh here and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I hope everyone is doing alright today. If you're not, then I do hope that tomorrow will be better for you. But I'm going to be doing an updated version of um, how to install UI Cheats extension mod for The Sims 4. Um, that I think I did one just over a year ago. Um, and the creator of this mod has now kind of changed where he basically um, uploads and updates um, the mod. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how you install it now. So um, you will need to go on Google and you should type in Sims 4 UI extension mod. I will of course link all this in the description for you guys so you won't have to try and search it for yourself but if you want to search it for yourself then you know do what you want. Um, so when you do search um, Sims 4 UI extension, um, the one that you want to make sure that you click on is the one that has the patreon.com um, link. So it should be UI cheats extension version blah blah blah. Um, make sure it's we're bazoo. I'm, I don't know how you say that. I think that's how you say it, but I could be wrong. Um, so as you can see, um, it has been updated. Um, quite recently, um, as I'm sure you all know, we did have like a, well we had the Eco Lifestyle patch which broke quite a lot of things, um, but luckily um, the creator of this mod has already updated it for you guys. So basically when you get on this page um, to install this mod, all you need to go down, uh, well all you need to do is go down and basically where it's got this like hyperlink here, um, UI cheats extension, blah blah blah, zip, um, basically you just click there wait for it to download, there we go. So you will need Wimra for this, I do have another video on how to install that. Um, basically you'll need Wimra to be able to extract um, the fi um, this file, um, basically to get the mod working. Um, so what you do, um, make sure you go on to your documents, um, electronic arts, the sims 4, your mods folder. Um, so what you want to do first is create a new folder and then you just type in UI extension. Um, it, when it comes to mods, it is good to kind of, um, oh, what's the word, to organize them um, because mods will need like updating in the future. Um, so it's easier, like if you, if one of the mod breaks, it's easier to um, check the folder that it's in get rid of that and then install the new version and you know it's just a lot easier than basically just dropping it in your folder where you may have custom content as well and then it may get a bit confusing. Um, so create the UI extension mod folder, um, press enter. Um, so basically what you do is just click on that um, and then back on your downloads. Um, I mean you can either extract files, documents, electronic arts, The Sims 4, mods, UI extension and press OK and then that will basically extract um, the file to this folder or um, an easier solution is what I've found out um, is you can just drag this to your um, to the UI extension folder in your mods folder and basically what you do is just right click on this um, and press extract here wait for uh, to do that so then you will have the package file and you'll also have the script so now all you need to do is just um, click on this and just press delete um, and there you go so now that the game has launched um, what you do to enable script mods like UI extension um, you basically click on your options menu up here um, press that um, then go to game options go down to other and here you will have the option to enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed. So you'll need to make sure that both of these are ticked and I'm sure that if this one isn't ticked um, then you can't like enable this. So what you would need to do is make sure you enable this first and then press script mods allowed. And then you'll need to restart your game and then um, it should work. Um, I'm just trying to remember how, oh there we go, sorry, literally just beneath here. If you go, I mean usually if you um, launch your game um, it will come up with a list of like mods and CC that has been installed, um, but I have it disabled because I find having it disabled actually speeds up the loading um, for the game. So um, it should look like something like this, like when you start up your game um, and that's how you know that it's in the game. 
Um, so yeah, so that is basically it. I'm ho I hope this tutorial did help you guys. Um, of course, um, com if you have any like questions or anything, um, please put them in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them. Um, I'm hoping to do some more um, tutorial videos um, because I don't know. I, ju I just like helping people out, and of course, I know how to. In I know how to do all this and I personally find it quite easy and I just, you know, I just want to help people. <laughs> um, so yeah, so please do give this video a big fat thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment and I hope to see you again next time. Bye guys!